Welcome to another episode of the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And I got my dancing shoes on for this review because it's Steven Spielberg's vision of one of the most beloved musicals of all time. My review of the 2021 musical drama, West Side Story, coming up now. Set in the mid-1950s, the Jets, a gang of white American teenagers led by Riff, fight for control of the neighborhood defended by the Puerto Rican gang of the Sharks led by Bernardo. One night, Riff's best friend and former member of the Jets, Tony, goes to a dance where he sees Bernardo's sister, Maria, and falls in love at first sight. It turns out the feeling is mutual, however, the gang warfare gets in the way of their forbidden love. When a big-time fight between the gang looms, Tony and Maria try to stop their friends and family members from facing off. So what did I think of West Side Story? I thought it's an excellent romantic musical drama. It's based on the 1957 stage musical of the same name that acts as an updated take on Romeo and Juliet and was conceived by Jerome Robbins and music by Leonard Bernstein with lyrics by Stephen Sondheim. It, of course, was brought to the big screen first in 1961 and won Best Picture for it. It also rose to fame again in 2008 when I played the character of Arab in a theatrical production. <laughs> this interpretation is directed by Steven Spielberg with his first musical, and it definitely is one of the best directed musicals I've seen and one of the, his best films in many years. While many fans of the musical and original film, including myself, have been cautious about this new iteration, it definitely delivers. It's a visually stunning film from its bright colors, fantastic costumes, spectacular production design, and awesome camera work. While it definitely brings the feel of old Hollywood, it also has a dark and gritty tone at times with the looming dread of the gangs clashing. The choreography and dance numbers are fabulous, showcasing the talented ensemble members. Of course, the music is all outstanding, and the musical numbers from America, the Jet Song, Maria, Tonight, the Quintet, which gave me chills, and of course, my favorite, G. Officer Krupke, are all captivating, and some even surpass the original film. The story is timeless and stays very close to the musical, but is still very true to today. There are a few things that are switched up, but I did enjoy the differences as it gives things a little bit of a breath of fresh air in this retelling. There's great tension that comes between the two gangs leading up to the rumble, which is a terrific scene, and we know it won't end well. We also get a lot of emotional moments, especially from the characters of Maria and Anita. The incredible cast of newcomers gives us some very passionate performances, although I wish Ansel Elgort would have brought a little more emotion to his version of Tony. The cast stars Elgort as Tony, the former Jet who now is trying to clean up his life and work at docks, Rachel Ziegler as Maria, the girl Tony instantly falls for, who's the sister of the rival gang leader, Ariana DeBose as Anita, Maria's best friend and the girlfriend of her brother, David Alvarez as Bernardo, Maria's brother, who's the leader of the Sharks, Mike Faced as Riff, Tony's best friend and the leader of the Jets, and Rita Moreno as Valentina, Doc's widow who runs the drugstore. West Side Story is a glorious love letter to the musical, thanks to Spielberg and the cast, who deliver a delightful spectacle. I'm going to give it the number rating of 10 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of A-list approved. That's right. It gets the A-list seal of approval. All right. Well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram and the letterbox at West A List. Until next time, Troop out. <laughs>